companies will say, Connie, can you do a workshop on change? I'm like, sure. Bring me in. Bring every employee in. It's a three-word workshop. Change. Deal with it. <laughs> That's the end of the workshop. What are we, a bunch of babies? Deal with it. Our ancestors, let's look at our ancestors. Let's look at the genes raging through our bodies. Our ancestors got in boats. They left their families, their language, their culture, their religion. Now, I'd call that a little change. They weren't having workshops aboard the Mayflower. This is Captain the Mayflower. Meet on Promenade Deck 2 for how to survive change in the new world. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if your company isn't going through so much change that you can barely stand it, it won't even be in business in five years. And the next complaint. Connie, I just don't have a passion for my job. Look at you, you have a pa No, you know what? I don't buy that either. I have a passion for speaking. That's it. I've been a waitress. I've been a secretary. I've been an educator. I've been a teacher. I've been an HR person. I've been a therapist. And now I'm a public speaker. And what do they all have in common? I could talk. I don't have any other talent. <laughs> I never made straight A's. I never made straight B's. I'm not crafty. I have two left feet. I can't cook. <laughs> all I can do is talk. My husband's just glad I'm getting paid for it. I have a passion for talking, but there's tons of avenues. So if you don't have a passion for your particular company or product, then maybe you have a passion for just doing things good. Or maybe you just have a passion for doing the right thing or being the best you can be.